Many of us have seen, or even some of you ladies may have pearls. Now these are just costume pearls, obviously, but pearls are considered by most to be a unique gem. It is the only gem that is made by a living thing. How many of you actually know how the process of pearls being created happens? See, the process begins when a particle, or what is referred to as an irritant, gets inside the mollusk. The particle basically functions as the nucleus of the pearl from a very early stage. See, once the irritant becomes trapped, the mollusk begins to coat it with a substance called nacre as a defensive mechanism. Isn't it amazing that something that seemed bad for the oyster now makes it very valuable? You see, on average, one natural pearl can cost $300 to $1,500. Romans 8:28 says this, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. See, at the time the irritant gets into the mollusk, it is perceived as bad. The mollusk immediately starts defending against it and then over time produces something amazing and beautiful and very valuable. Listen, I know some of you had some crazy things happen in your life. I know in my own life, I've had things happen that rocked my world and I tried handling it on my own. And you know what? I made it worse. But the moment I gave it over to God and allowed the Holy Spirit to saturate that situation, I began to see the beautiful work God is doing in me. He didn't remove the situation or the irritant, he just made beauty from the pain. Paul asked the Lord three times to remove the thorn in his flesh, but this is what God told him. 2 Corinthians 12, 8 and 10 says, three different times I begged the Lord to take it away. Each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now I'm glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. That's why I take pleasure in my weaknesses and in the insults, hardships, persecutions, and troubles that I suffer for Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. You see, it's not about our weaknesses at the end of the day, but it's about His strength in our weaknesses. Allow God to take those things you're struggling with, the hurt, the irritants, the weaknesses you struggle with, and allow God to make them something beautiful. I can tell others about the moments in my life where I didn't think I would live through a situation, and how God showed up, and through His strength, I can display the beauty of walking with Him in this life. See, I am valuable to Him. Enough so that he was willing to give his only son for your and my freedom. So give God those situations today and see what he can do in you and through you.